Hey, everybody. So, you know, I changed locations. Now I'm live on location downstairs because we are about to mix it up with our favorite mixologist, none hey, other. So, you know, I changed locations. Now I'm live on location hey, downstairs because we are about to. Sorry. You just have to close your other tab. Our favorite. There we go. There we go. Perfect. It's okay. So Rohan is going to teach us a little history and mix up a little beverages. And I hope you got the email with the shopping list. So if you are mixing with us, I want to make sure you tag us, please. Please tag us on all social platforms because we want to see what you're drinking. And we are so excited to do this. You know, thank you to all of us who support us. A special shout out again to BDC for being an incredible sponsor. Make sure you are checking out their booth because they do have a lot of information. And I believe Brooke is on as well. But yes, Rohan, it's all you now. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, awesome. So hi, everyone. My name is Rohan. Um, I am the Curly Tails. I am a lifestyle blogger, but my focus is food and beverage. I am a mixologist and I love making drinks. And like I was telling Maria that I never thought to look into the black culture of mixology, you know, and this event made me do that deep dive. And I found out that we had a mixologist club that was founded by two black men in 1898. And it was a gathering of Black African Americans and coming together and just the up and up of mixology and bartenders would come together and just have fun with each other doing cocktails, you know? And one of the things that they love making was juleps. Every time I do any type of research, it was a mint julep here, a brandy julep there. I'm like, all right, so you guys like making juleps? <laughs> We're gonna have to make one too. <laughs> And, you know, when I was looking up the names as well, names like Cato Alexander and John Dabney, Dick Francis, and Tom Bullock, who was actually the um, first African-American to make a cocktail book and uh, be published. And that book can still actually be um, bought today. I looked on it, I looked for it um, on Amazon, and I have to get it now. <laughs> so we're going to be making his version of Brandy Julep. And we're gonna start off with three quarter of um, water. It says three quarters of a wine glass of water. I don't know how big their wine glass is, but mine is much bigger, so maybe not that much. <laughs> so three quarters of a cup of water. I have fancy water, y'all. There you go. Only because I thought it should be fancy. <laughs> and we're gonna do about four sprigs of mint. Four sprigs of mint. Okay. And I'm putting it in the water? Putting it in the water. Okay. Break that up in there. Help the process. It smells so good. It smells really yummy. I love working with mint. It just is very fragrant. It makes all the drinks taste really good. I had a, a mojito about maybe 20 minutes ago. <laughs> I'm halfway there. So we're just going to okay. add that in. And we're going to add our sugar in as well. And what they used to like to say, they're going to bruise the mint. So what we call it now is muddling. So we're going to add in our sugar and bruise our mint with that. Does it matter how much sugar I'm adding? I just added like a teaspoon. If you like something a little sweeter, go ahead and add a little bit more. It's a teaspoon of um, sugar, they said. So we're just gonna go in with a teaspoon. You want a little bit more? I always say make it to your taste. Like muddle. Oh, okay. We're just gonna go in there. We're just gonna muddle that up. Yeah. Can you hear the sugar going against the mint while you're muddling? So we're bruising the mint. Very cute and dainty way for it. Okay. And you just want to get that mint flavor infused in there, right? How's it smelling over there? It smells so good. <laughs> I can't wait to dive in. Yep. <laughs> so we're just gonna keep going. The water's gonna change a little bit. You'll see the um, the crystals are actually just getting into the water and getting smaller and smaller. Your brown sugar is gonna go a little faster than mine. 
Like in here. Yes. There we go. It's all dissolved. The water is like slightly, like a light green, you know. Mm. Smells green in there. This smells amazing. So what we're gonna do is fill our glass with ice. We're just gonna let that sit there. Now that all our um, sugar is dissolved. Mm -hmm. We're going to fill our cups up with ice. I have a glass goblet. Go ahead and fill it with cracked ice. You can fill the cubes if that's what you have, and that works for you, no problem. So we're going to fill it to the top. So, now let's put this in front of you. Let's see. Let me know if you can see this. Yes. Yeah. We're good. We can see. Okay. And we're gonna put in our mint water. And you're not gonna fill it up all the way. Because we're gonna add our rum and our brand. Yes. Save room for the good stuff. No, save room for it. And we're gonna do one jigger of brandy, so that's about one ounce. Okay, so believe it or not, I haven't had brandy since like university, and I'm like, Rohan, what am I supposed to buy? She's like, Oh, do you have Hennessy? I'm like, Thank God for my mother in law, she left some Hennessy here, so that's what I'm using. Love Hennessy. <laughs> That's my party drink, that's my chill drink, that's my put it in an icicle drink. <laughs> it works out. <laughs> so if you've added your brandy, just add a little bit of rum after. And I am an island girl. I'm coming to you from the island of Grenada, so I have my Grenadian rum. And I'm gonna put more than two dashes. <laughs> well, I'm another islander. You know, I always have my Jamaican Appletons on hand, yeah. and I'm just gonna pour. Just pour. That's all we're gonna do. And we're just gonna put it up in the top. Make sure it comes right to the top there. There you go. But they said two dashes, and I was like, two dashes? <laughs> Please don't do that. And we're just gonna add a sprig of mint to the top to garnish. Mm -hmm. To make it pretty. To make it pretty. And we have this beautiful brandy julep that is probably so strong and so yummy. There we go. I need to take a photo. Y'all can check out what it's going to be like on Instagram. That looks so good. Here's mine. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and stir it up or not, but you'll get the liquor at the top. Oh, this is good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is good. And I think because I use the brown sugar, it gives it a little mm -hmm. nice. Glasses, kind of like kiwi taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. I have to take a photo. Hold on. Because I'll just keep drinking and drinking and drinking. You have no drink left to take a picture with. Yes, I, ha I have to do the photo. Oh, my. Okay. If you guys make this, let me know. Tag us in it, you know. Let's see, let's see what your juleps look like. Add a little rum, add a little less rum. Whatever works for you. <laughs> yes, you can make it to taste, but at least you know some of the history of a julep. Because, you know, a lot of times if you travel south and you go to the southern states, you always hear about a julep, but you don't know where it originated. So now we know that there's some history, some black excellence in a julep. Can be a mint julep, a brandy julep. Know that we had some impact. Yes. I am very excited about this because now it can be added 
to my list um, of things. Hold on, who said, ooh, that's top shelf, top shelf Appletons, look. Don't <laughs> me on the Appletons, Sasha Lee, you know how I feel. <laughs> Yes, I do. I, I do love rum. I, I do. I, I really do. I have. Yeah. yeah. Just to make stop. Stop. There's light rum, there's dark rum, there's the aged one. And you have a lot of different choices. So even when you make this drink, try a rum that you really like, you know, or mm -hmm. get a rum that you really like. This is my first time trying this Napoleon brandy. I was like, I'm a handy drinker. I know what Hennessy tastes like. Let me see what something else tastes like. So this is like a lighter version of Henny. So if you think Penny is a little strong, maybe this is one for you. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you my brandy story another time. But <laughs> the brown sugar really does add that that extra flavor with molasses. So it's really good. And you know, I'm gonna add this to my drink list because we're all indoors. We don't have to worry about drinking and driving. So you can mix a beverage here and there and just add this to your rotation. And if you're looking for more cocktails and all that stuff, make sure you're checking out Rohan of the Curly Girls, okay? Make sure you're checking her out. We're definitely going to be posting some photos and tagging. I should have probably taken a photo of my whole setup because I thought I was being cute right here for a second, but I, I ruined that. <laughs> I took my full setup pictures, and I'm going to have to take a picture of the drink too. Yes, yes. Photograph everything. You do everything in this life for the brand. That's why we do things. Um, but next, we're going to have our chef demo. I'm excited, too, because I'm kind of hungry. I had breakfast, and that was it. I was saving myself for this whole moment right here. So I'm going to be... So time to eat. Yes. And, you know, I'm going to be drinking while I cook. So, Chef Pam, I apologize in advance. <laughs> if you want to blame someone, blame Rohan. <laughs> oh my gosh, this was amazing. Thank you so much because, you know, we had a lot of really good and tough conversations earlier and we don't like ending things on a bad note because we also want to celebrate excellence and we also want to have some fun because Black History Month is just not all about being somber and about remembering our past. We want to also make sure that we are celebrating our lives, right? And what better way than through food and drinks? And even, you still got a little history lesson. We put a little food in everything. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're gonna jump on. I'm gonna probably move locations and we're gonna have our lovely, chef join us and we're going to cook but Rohan thank you so much please tell everyone how they can find you I appreciate it everyone thank you so much bye, bye.